Christine White in the Beats Incorporated studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to be making chokers today. It seems like you can't go anywhere these days without seeing this style, and there's no reason to spend big on it, especially when it can be so easy to create your own, and I'm going to help you get the look. Materials that we'll need to create this technique are nylon coated stainless steel wire and crimp beads, crimping pliers, wire cutters, two to four millimeter crystal beads, the charm of your choice, and clasps. When choosing your beads for this technique, I highly recommend choosing beads that come pre-strung on a temporary fishing line or thread. This is gonna make it easier to determine your finished length. It's also going to make it easier to string the beads. So I'm choosing these um, small lavender crystal beads and we'll cut a piece of our nylon coated stainless steel wire about two feet long, assuming that the finished length of our choker is going to be about 14 to 15 inches long for an adult. I put a little piece of tape at the end so that we don't have to worry about the beads coming off the other side. And we can go ahead and open up the end of our crystal strand and leave that excess uh, string there on the end. It's gonna make it easier to transfer the beads from string to wire. So as a time-saving technique, we can pull several beads off of the string at the same time Hold them in between our fingers with all of the holes lined up and then simply transfer them onto the wire. This makes it go a lot faster than doing one bead at a time, especially with tiny beads. You may also have luck with lining your wire up against the fishing line and stringing several beads along that line at once. Whatever's most comfortable for you is just fine. Keeping in mind that the finished length of your necklace will be about 14 inches long, you'll string about seven inches of your necklace and then you'll add your charm and string the rest. Once your desired length is strung, we're going to crimp one side of our clasp to each side. I am using a small brushed lobster claw clasp and a solder jump ring. So I'm gonna use a crimping technique. Um, you can check out my other videos on basic crimping. So we'll just gloss over that here, but I will link to my basic crimping video below. So I'm going to string this here and attach my lobster claw. that back through, a couple beads, snip off our extra, and move these down. We use our crimp bead on our other side, add our jump ring over here, oops, and our jump ring over here. And there is our finished product. What I love about chokers is that they make great layering pieces and they make awesome gifts. Something to consider when you're tying off a choker is to add a chain extender to the back of it. That'll give you options to wear it with different necklines. It'll also help when you're giving it as a gift and aren't sure of the measurement. Hopefully you've learned something new today. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section and be sure to check out all of my other jewelry making videos.